but we are at eight days after I started the Ernie Shuffle. I did just give them a little smoke and a little time to think about it. And so now what we hope to do is to find a number of queen cells all ready to go, ready to be taken out uh, either to make a new queen here or to be taken to another nuke. I've got some stuff on the bottom that looks like, yep, it's wax moth larva. I'm just going to scoop that out. I squished the larva that I saw. All right, that's not too surprising given that on this side, we have the very small colony that uh, had the queen and some attendants. And that was, I'm just going to take a quick look, see if I can find the queen, make sure that she's doing well. Because at the end, I will either add her back on the other side or uh, or let her stay with this group to make a new colony treat it like a like a package almost all right so got a few bees on this side I'm trying to see what they're doing they may just be cleaning up I've got this little knot of them they're not taking my hints to move it. Oh, okay, they're, they're storing some nectar there. Finally caught a glimpse of the glisten in the bottom. All right, now that frame looked pretty lonely. These two frames look like a viable nuke. Let me give them a little more smoke. see here is ideally the queen or at least some eggs and this really is just the preliminary part of the main event the main event is going to be going into the other half of the, the box looking for queen cells All right, so if the queen is well, she appears to be working on this frame on the end. If they, uh, if I decide, and I think I probably will, to leave this, this group of bees to start their own colony, leaving this group of bees with a, a new queen cell, and what I'll need to do is to provide them another frame or two at earliest opportunity. They're storing up honey, nectar as it were. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the queen. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to use this opportunity, since she's right there, to marker and to do that before she goes away uh, she's slippery went away to the other side didn't like being exposed for all the world to see well she go there she is okay
Okay. So now I've got her in this queen marking tool. And I should have done this first. Let her have some flexibility to roam about for a minute until I get my tools in place. There's my pen. I've got this paint pen. She is a 2023 current queen, so she'll be red. And I do see eggs in the frame now, so. to get her down on the foam. So what we've got, we've got this foam pad that can be raised up to a screen. And what I need to do is get her crawling on the foam so that as I raise the foam pad, her back is exposed. Now I'm going to take the pen, give it a little dab, a few times here on my box until the red paint starts to flow. Nice and red. Let's put a little bit of a dot on her back. And I'm just going to hold her here for another minute or two letting that dry and then we'll release her and let her return to the frame Hereafter, she'll be on. Oh, the paint wasn't dry yet because a little bit got on the wingtip of another bee, but uh, it'll dry soon. Hereafter, she'll be a lot easier to spot. Okay, she just crawled under another bee and not too much of it rubbed off, so I think we're okay. All right, so we've got eggs, so she is fertile. I think I'm just going to leave that there for the time being. Actually what I need to do, I need to go ahead and close that up because I'm going to be opening the other side. And if I have both sides open at the same time, fights could erupt. So now, I'm going to transfer this divider board, follower board, bring it all the way down here. This is where we may have a little problem, because I had some weather problems. 
last year that caused this hive to expand a little bit inside. All right, I think I got a tight fit all the way to the ground. So now the bees on this side are only on this side. Give them a little smoke. They're acting fairly docile today. All right, so now what we're looking for are queen cells. This one is a new frame, not drawn out yet, so there won't be any there. This one is likely mostly a resource frame for probably almost entirely nectar. I don't see any signs of brood cells down there. Now, if I don't see queen cells, what that means is my original queen may still be alive in here. All right, this is still mostly nectar and pollen. I looked at it, and because it was so well drawn out, I thought I might start to see queen cells, but this is another resource frame. Alright, this next one is most definitely brood. So it's these next three frames where I think we could see queen cells. Alright, I see one, two, three. Alright, so let me see if you can, hopefully you can see in the camera. We've got one capped here, one capped here, one capped here. We've got a cell that was being made there that never got capped, and another one here that was being made that never got capped. So, I could just take this frame to another hive, flip, the, flip it and see what we've got on the other side. Here we've got one here, we've got one here. Never finished. There may be another one or two hiding. Looks like they may be protecting some. Okay, so now I've got a total of five at least on this frame. I'm going to put it down and then decide how I want to how I want to distribute these. I could just take the frame and put it in another hive, and I could also possibly destroy all but the best two. That's uh, advice I've seen given. Uh, I may try to cut out some of those cells, um, put them in a protective cage, and take them to another, another hive. All right. Now in this frame, I don't see any more queen cells on that side. I see some drone cells. And I have the same on this side. Worker cells, drone cells, I don't see any signs of queen cells here. Oh boy, they have a lot of very runny nectar. I'm spilling it all over the hive as I tilt the tilt the frames, which is good. That tells me that they're bringing in a lot. The flow, if it's not on, it's at least ramping up. First year beekeeping, I'm not sure when you can officially dec declare a flow, but it sure looks looks like that all right I've got some cells here that I think are actually drone cells I don't think they're they're right on the edge of of a frame so they kind of stand out and have a funny look to them but they're not they don't have that distinctive look of a cell. 
this one too. But this side, I don't see any signs of that either. Now, I have to be real handle. I, I noticed the set, that bottom section of comb was starting to flop over. So I need to be sure that I hold this one directly upright. Okay, so it looks like I have five cells to work with all on one frame. So what I need to do with that then, I do want to cut those out. Or actually, I want to, I want to cut out three of them to take elsewhere and um, leave, the, leave two of them for this, for this colony so they can make their own queen. So, um, I have the impression that it's not a good idea to, uh, to shake a frame that has new queen cells, but I want to get the bees off of it and I want to close up the hive so that I can cut those cells out that need to be cut out. So I'll use a combination of trying to smoke the bees off of it and brushing the bees off of it so that I'm not shaking a, a delicate queen. Right, this is the one with the... Uh, cells. Well, I'm agitating them, but I'm not moving them off the frame very well. So let's try this. So, I've got most of the bees off of there. And so what I'm going to do now is close the lid. <clears throat> I'm going to take this as a, a frame rest because what I want to make sure I do is as I cut out the ones I want, I want to make sure that I don't damage the ones that need to stay here. So I'm going to try to cut out these three and then put the two on the other side back in the colony. As I cut them out, I'm going to try to slide them into these little plastic protectors. I should have opened the Ziploc bag and just make sure I'm still recording before I put my gloves on. Alright, we're still going. 
got it. Got more there than I need, but that's all right. Now I have to be careful as I try to cut these out to make sure that I don't too close to the... That's not my pocket knife. Where did I put my pocket knife? In my pocket, of course. Alright, so I want to be sure that I don't damage the integrity of the queen cell. Success. So now I'm going to start to put this down here. And once again, I don't want to do anything to damage the cell. All right, I think that's down far enough. Now, what this tries to do is if the other bees are inclined to uh, uh, to kill the queen when I introduce her to another colony. They, they would likely only do that early after she's introduced. And uh, the way they'll typically try is to eat through the sides This cage tries to prevent that from happening so that um, she'll, when the queen emerges, she usually emerges from the bottom. She'll eat away the cap at the bottom. And, but when bees try to get at her, they typically go from the sides. And so by putting her in these plastic caps, the intent is to protect the sides of the cage while leaving her the ability to emerge through the bottom. There's two. What I need to learn through this, and it's quite possible it wouldn't wouldn't be surprising to me if I have some failures here, since this is the first time I've attempted it. What I need to learn is how to have a sufficiently delicate touch. I'm really trying to be abundantly cautious about putting applying too much pressure. So there we go. Three cells removed. Pocket knife put back away. Alright, and here we have two good looking cells remaining. So, this will hopefully help me get a couple of other colonies well started. Now, for right now, I'm going to take these cells. And just for 
safety in carrying them. I'm going to put them on this comb. Put the comb back in the box. And take those to the other hive. All right, and then we'll open this up. We'll give them their queens. smoker that gets and breathes a little more light. Closer. All right, now I got some smoke. So now with the hive put back together, we'll be able to continue building their, their colony. All right, so they're not going to be agreeable to me moving the divider board. I mean, I, I'm afraid that if I try to move the divider board to get these bees back over here, that it will inevitably result in some of them getting through to fight with the other colonies. So I think I'm going to leave the divider board on this end. And what I really need to do is to get another divider board here soon. And so that will be one of my future steps. That's all for us right now. Try to get as many bees away from the crevices as I can. And let them get back to being peaceful bees. All right, so pending successful emergence and mating, um, this attempt at the Ernie Shuffle produced uh, five queen cells. Two of them are staying here. Three of them are taken to new colonies. 
and that's all until uh, until we come back to check for successful queen uh, mating.